It is a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Judith Fan, novelist and biologist, and the author of an important book, Women, Power, and the Biology of Peace. Dr. Han is here to tell us that war is not inevitable. Her book offers a practical path to peace. It is unique in that it describes the biological foundation of war. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Judith Han. which is the point of the first half of your book, could that really make a difference? Absolutely. If given worldwide expression, the female preference for social stability would affect all aspects of our conflict-resolving behavior. Empowered women would change the world. They would move us away from violence, guaranteed biologically. They would do it because it's the preference is not something that has to be learned and it transcends cultures. Essentially, it's in their genes. That's quite a statement. Um, and in the second half of your book, you explore the necessary conditions for peace, and um, you focus on the need for connectedness. And so I'm wondering, is that need also in our genes, and is it therefore the most important of the uh, conditions for peace? No, I wouldn't say it's the prime condition. They're all necessary conditions. But we are social primates. We're deeply unhappy if we don't feel we belong. And so we're not going to ever have lasting peace until we master ways to um, meet this biological need to be connected, to be connected to family, to community, even to the planet. There are just way too many young people, for example, who grow up uh, without feeling that they belong, and that plants the seeds of all kinds of unrest. It's been a pleasure talking with you this afternoon, Judith. Thanks so much for coming to our show. Dr. Han would like to share her insights with your group. She brings her expertise, enthusiasm, and vision to workshops, keynote speeches, or interviews. Men desire a peaceful future every bit as much as women. Too many of them have died trying to give it to us from Mahatma Gandhi to the young men who stormed the beaches at Normandy. Sadly, though, many millennia of history prove that our male half alone cannot deliver lasting peace. But men and women working together as partners, that's where the hope of success lies. It's been said of my book that in its pages, hope teams up with biology and wins. <laughs> <laughs> 